Dylan, Chief Executive Officer of Yola, and I'm going to be demoing a Sailfish operating system on some R&D hardware. So double tap opens the device. Uh, first feature I'll show is this pulley menu. This works with haptics, so you can basically use it uh, without looking at it. So if you want to go to uh, silent profile, for example, or normal profile, you don't even have to look at the phone. You can just wake it up and you can tack, feel the, the, the haptics. So same thing for phone or camera. So like if you want to take a picture, you can unlock the device, open up the camera, and by the time you have the camera um, up to your eyes, you can uh, take a photo. So um, we have our notifications on the left. You can see I have a bunch here. Um, the device has been live, uh, so I've, I've got like content from my uh, from my friends and the things that are going on here at uh, actually at MWC. But this is basically available. These notifications um, are available from the lock screen and from the from the home screen just by pushing from the side of the screen. Um, status information is available uh, in between the lock screen and the home screen, so it's not taking up real estate on the screen. And also want to emphasize that this pulley menu is available um, for any application inside of our SDK. So I'll demonstrate a bit more of that. So I'll open a few applications and uh, demonstrate some of the features of Sailfish. So as I open each application, I'll push it out of the way, which basically minimizes the application on the on the home screen. So I'll open up the applications I use most commonly, which is um, phone. Uh, I have the gallery open. I'll open the media player. Uh, and let's say maybe I'll open the, the email application. So the features of multitasking are very powerful because any application can expose these multitasking kind of controls. So I'll, I'll demonstrate. If we traditionally, if we want to use an application, we find the application from the grid, we open it, we go into the application and say we, we start uh, to use the application. So here you can, you can hear the, the music playing. Um, I'll s switch the song to something a little louder there. So now that the application is open though, um, you don't any longer have to go into the application in order to manipulate it. So I can go to the next song or I can pause the music. And these multitasking features are available to all of the different applications created with the Selfish SDK. For example, with the email application, I can either sync my email or I can directly create a new email from the user interface. And now here's that email. So once again, the pulley menu adds functionality. Um, we can perform actions without even looking at them. So for example, after I've written the email, I could just uh, say send, and then I could be sending the message and putting the, the device away at the same time. So uh, next thing I'll show is um, about ambiance. So here's a photo that I took um, of some, uh, some bloggers that were here today. Um, but for example, um, I'll take uh, something that's quite a bit different than what the photo I have at the moment. So if you notice the whole application background is green and actually all of the applications are, are green at the moment. So when I select something that has different key colors to it, then the whole UI basically changes. It picks up the key colors in the, in the photo and now we have a very different feeling device. So it's very easy for a user to personalize the device. They can take a photo or uh, sideload one of their favorite photos and then as they go through their day they can say okay maybe I'm in, in a bit different kind of uh, mood. So things are very bright now so I can take maybe a, something that's very bright and create a, a different look and feel for the whole device. And you see it, it picks up the colors that are key but still provides good contrast for the user. So I can demonstrate um, maybe a couple of other things. So uh, once again multitasking on the, the phone application, I can go directly to my contacts if I choose, I pick my contact to call, or if I have a business card in my hand or a, or a phone number I want to enter, I can go straight to the dialer by going in the other direction. And whenever I'm in any application, um, I can also access the feeds and the notifications. So, for example, if I am about to write an email, um, I could access the feeds without, without losing the, the email content. And I could see, okay, so yeah, it was Karsten was the guy that I wanted to send an email to. And I can basically peek without committing or because of the, the push mechanism, 
I can very easily say, well, no, I, I won't write that email right now. I can get back to the home screen very quickly. And there's no need to close the email application or the, the applications that I'm, I'm very commonly using. Um, another very interesting feature for the user uh, is settings application. So if I take, uh, if I'm traveling, so a lot of the times um, I'm turning the, the VLAN on and off as I, as I reach different places, or maybe I am uh, using the flight mode a lot. So I can add those to my favorites, and then like I walk into a new cafe, maybe I want to find the wireless LAN, I can very easily access it. And then, okay, so these are the different wireless LANs that are available here at uh, Barcelona Mobile World Congress at the moment. And then I can basically come back. So any setting that I choose, so here I have airplane mode, I can hold and I can remove that from the favorites, or I can hold and I can add that to my favorite settings. And they're also reflected on the, uh, on the application cover so that they can be manipulated very easily. Um, here I'll show the a bit larger view so that so that we can see those settings are available so there's only a couple of gestures that are necessary to be able to use the device very efficiently and it's it's very clean because the there's no buttons on the display there's no hardware buttons that are required and it's I think it's it's very powerful for a power user but very accessible for for any user so that's the key features of the Sailfish operating system today Thank you.